Hi everyone. So I said I would come on and do a super easy loaded envelope tutorial before I assign the partners tomorrow for the loaded envelope swap. This is easy peasy. It's the easiest loaded envelope um, tutorial in the world. I can't remember who, where I got it from. I think lots of people do it. Um, I've been making these practically from I started my channel a couple of years ago, so I can't remember. But what you need is your scoreboard or a ruler and a scoring tool. 12 by 12 sheet of card. This is 250 GSM. It's from the Grandma's Garden Pack, so it's double sided. So what you do is have your paper facing the right way, so don't have it upside down or anything, have it the right way. And then you want to score on three and a quarter. There, flip it over, three and a quarter here. And then, with this being the top side of your paper, you want to take your top and rotate it once to the right, and then you want to score it at three and three quarter inches. I don't know what that is in centimetres, guys. Sorry, I'm always doing it in old school. Okay, and then all we're going to do is take the bowl folder, reinforce our creases. Same with the one at the bottom, which makes your pocket. And then what I do, you don't have to do this, but I like to fold it back on itself here and it just gives it a little collar so it's easier to get into the goodies inside so same on this side just fold it down right to the edge like that so you've got your two flaps and then your pocket at the bottom and then all we're going to do is take some red liner tape you can do it with red liner tape or do it with glue wet glue um i would suggest something strong like that because obviously you're going to be stuffing it full of craft goodies so you want it to be strong enough not that it's so that it's not going to burst open so just snip that there now you only want to put your tape see how we've folded it over here you only want your tape up to the fold the same here, you only want to put your tape up to the fold, so just right along the edge, like that. Cut it off. Take off your red liner. Both sides. You could just do it on one side if you wanted to, but to make it extra strong, because I like trying to stuff it as much as I can. I always put it on both sides. And then just press it down. Like that. And then on the bottom flap, you're just going to do the same. Go around the edge with your tape here. At the bottom here. around the sides like I said wet glue is perfect for this as well it just means that you would need to use your bulldog clips to hold it all together and wait on it drying or re-pegs to hold it together and wait on it drying but I like doing this it's nice and quick with the red liner and then I always put just a couple in the centre to make sure it's going to hold nice and tight Then, just take it all off. This stuff's murder, it always sticks to everything in the back end. I know there's loads of people say put towel between them and there's all sorts of things you can do, but ugh, life's too short for that. Take it off. That. And that. And last one. Get all these out of the way. And then simply pick it up, line it up, 
and press it down. Now you will have, this front bit won't lie flat, but you want that. You see how it's not completely flat? It's got like the wee bubble because of the way it's folded. But that's fine because it gives you a nice deep pocket to put loads of things in. And then you can go ahead and you can put your lace along the front, your washi tape, decorate it any way up you like. Then what I do is, if I can just grab some, two seconds. Okay, so what I've done is grabbed some brads. Now this um, is up to yourself if you want to do this. I like doing it because I just think it's nice and decorative. But if you didn't want to add brads, just a little bit of red liner tape on the back of the flaps and hold it down. But what I'm going to do is slip. I've just got one of these foam pads. You don't have to use this if you don't want to, but you can use um, okay, anything, some book pages. You don't even have to. You can just hold it yourself and just pop it through. I just use this because I've got to hand. Make a hole in the corner there and pop my brad through and then just open up the wee legs inside like that, press them down same on the other side just in the corner the hole just be careful not to push it right through the back Push my brad through, open up the wee legs inside. Just trying to do that with my left hand there, you're good. Okay, and then press it down. And then that is your basic loaded envelope. So it's really quick and easy. You have a nice big pocket here and you have a huge big pocket here to fill with loads and loads of goodies and as I say you can decorate it up as much as you want add other pockets on the back if you want but yeah that is the basic one so stay tuned because tomorrow I will be announcing the swap partners and things and yeah thanks for watching everybody hit me a thumbs up I'll see you again soon